Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's Change for the Better, too. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the notifications whenever we post. You know we vlog about everything, and we keep it real over here. If you haven't liked, make sure you do that, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into this video, y'all. Let's go. What's up, y'all? Hi. It's Change for the Better, too. For y'all who haven't seen me before, this is me, the face behind the voice. Change for the Better, too, is me, Mario, and Jay. Mario is asleep, and Jay is outside playing, and I'm about to bring it to y'all about this Aaron Hernandez documentary. Let me tell you, this shit was crazy. This shit was straight up crazy. If you drank, you was going to drink. If you smoke cigarettes, you was going to smoke some cigarettes. If you have kids, especially sons, you was going to stop and pause and talk to them. For me, this at home, this has a lot to do with his mom. I mean, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, Change for the Better Tool on Instagram, you can see that I have posted um, a lot of the stuff as I was watching the documentary, right? But um, I had also posted the pics of his brain, like the, the area of his brain, the area of everyone's brain, where um, we make decisions, it was all gone on Aaron Hernandez. I even had a follower put on there, you know, I think that... Uh, Football players should get CAT scans before they play, and I totally agree. Because I don't really think that, I can't really say if I think the dude was crazy. I don't think he was crazy. I just think he was, like, traumatized. And I think he just made, like, some wrong decisions. Like, of course he made some damn wrong decisions. It's not even about thinking that, but it's just, like... I myself, I needed closure because I'm like, how in the hell you have a $40 million contract and your ass killing people? And then right before I recorded this, I saw a video of the guy that he was supposed to have wrote the um, suicide note to. The guy was talking about um, he killed the fourth person and he had told him that. So this is just like a lot. Um, I wanted to do a live stream so that we could talk about it as we go, but I ain't know how to figure all that out. So here we go. Um, okay, I'm gonna go through my notes. I have notes right here. Um, his body was discovered for somebody. He was um jogging. He came from the gym and he was jogging. Um they found Aaron Hernandez as well. They they considered him a suspect because the rental car that he had, you know, damn, it was in his this shit was so sloppy. This shit was so sloppy. They talk about it and they was like, well, if he had just erased a little bit of stuff. I mean, they knew he had tampered with the um, video. But they're like, if he had just took a little bit of stuff away, he would have never got caught. Which is not cool. But it's just like... I'm trying to figure out how your ass have $40 million. And act crazy. And then it was a point, y'all, where his mama, I'm going to skip all over the place because it was just too much. I'm just trying to let it out because I got to get it all out of my system because I was trying to figure out how in the hell this dude did this. So his mama was talking about, um, give me $1 million. They was on the phone from jail. His mama was like, give me a million dollars. I told you I just need a million dollars. Just give me a million dollars and I'll be cool, right? And he was like, I don't have no damn money because he had just got that $40 million. You remember he had signed that, oh, uh, he had signed it, um, that, um, this too hard for me to do. This too hard for me to do. I'm really trying to do this and I'm stuttering and I'm going all over the place. This is hard for me to do. Um, I just want to say that Aaron Hernandez, he did not come from a bad childhood. They, um, lived all up in the hills. Like, they had it going on. His dad died. The mama got with, um, the cousin's husband and moved him into the house a few months after the mama died. After that happened, Aaron was just like, I ain't got no time. So he went to go stay with the cousin, which is the cousin that refused to testify against him. Her name was Tanya, the one who they found the car in her garage. She refused to testify. She ended up passing away in October 2015, loyal to Aaron. And then Aaron was just really on her, his own. That's where he met Wallace and Ortiz. That's where he met those two. Then turned around watching a documentary when Aaron Hernandez was getting ready to go to jail for that, when he was on trial, when he wanted to kill Lloyd um, Oden. Okay, and the whole thing about Lloyd Oden, they show. Uh, let me tell y'all this. They showed all kind of footage. Like, they showed the bullet wounds. They showed um, Lloyd Oden shot. They showed the gunshots on him. They showed him shot, 
right? They showed the blood on the car. And, and another thing that I really appreciate about this is I thought that I was going to be watching a movie with someone playing Aaron Hernandez. That wasn't even the case. It was really Aaron Hernandez in it. It was really his mama. It was really the nigga that her mama moved him in the house. And I got to probably blur that out. But um, it was the real deal. It was just like when his coach came... Y'all, it was just, like, too damn much. It was just too damn much. And I'm trying to do this review for y'all, but I'm trying to tell y'all, if y'all watch this and y'all got kids, and if you have, a, like, a strange relationship with your mother, be prepared to smoke some cigarettes and drink some damn beer because this shit will, like, drive you, you know, not insane or crazy, but it will have you looking at, looking at your own life, um, in the end, he ended up dying, and um, nobody got any money. Nobody got any money. The money that he was supposed to get at the end, damn, um, um, Otis' mom fought the law, so nobody got nothing. The law that if you are going to trial and you could be considered innocent if you die before your date, nobody got no money. You know, I looked at um, Shayana's Instagram yesterday, and nobody's following her except me. Uh, Bias, which is um, um, Aaron's attorney, and Cisco from Love and Hip Hop. The hell he following her for? Because you know when you follow people on Instagram, it shows all the other people that you are following that like them people's um, page too. No, it was nothing. It was just like, damn. So she ended up having another baby with a boxer. It looks like she's a single mom. Not for sure, but there's no pictures of the guy in it. You only find out the baby is from the boxer from looking on the internet. This story was crazy. Um, They was talking about why he killed Lloyd. And from what I get, what I got out of it from watching things was that because he wasn't loyal to him. He wasn't loyal to him. I think he said something about him being gay or like, you know, blah, 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 or whatever. And so Aaron just killed him. You know? And then the video I watched talking about he killed the fourth person. It's crazy. Like I said, back in his, it, when you look at the picture of his brain, um, there's no, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Like, that's the, this is supposed to be filled in. You know what I'm saying? But there is nothing there um, when they studied his brain. I just think that this was just like... A lot of it had to do with his mom. A lot of it had to do with his mom. It was when his dad died and his mama got with his cousin that wouldn't testify against him. He got with her. She got with him. His, she got with her husband and moved him into the house after Aaron's um dad passed away. And Aaron wasn't having that. So then Aaron turned around and started hanging out with her. And that's how he met Wallace and o uh, um, Ortiz. That's how he met. I'm going to stutter y'all because I had to drink me a beer before I did this. But, um... We went through all the phases of how he thought he was getting out of jail. Oh. Um, how he thought he, was, he had some stupid ass damn lawyers. He had some stupid ass lawyers. I ain't gonna lie. Um, he left. He was gonna go to college with his brother, like his daddy said, but like when his daddy said, he just, and his mama did that. He was like, forget everybody. He went to Florida. Then he became gay with somebody. And then he was already gay with this other guy since was like seventh grade. You see a lot of him in the video. And it's just like, why, 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 why not just like let people know that you're gay? He was trying to be like this tough guy, guy so bad that he just didn't give a damn to the fact that he even hung himself. He he committed suicide, you know, for money, like the ultimate hustler. And nobody got nothing. Nobody got nothing. I haven't said it already. Or um, Lord Odin's mother. She fought to overturn that law that if you have a case and you die before you go to that case, then 
you know, is dismissed and you die an innocent man. She overturned that, so nobody got nothing. I think that Lord was a piece of shit. That's my honest opinion. I totally think that Lord was a piece of shit. I'm not saying he had it coming or nothing like that. But he was a piece of shit. This whole thing was about how in the hell your ass got all that money. And then you act crazy. What the hell is on my head? Eyeliner. Um, yeah, he just, he, he basically threw it all away. There's nothing else to say, y'all. Because I was going to get into all the notes <clears throat> and break it down to the nitty gritty. But at the end of the day, it doesn't make sense. It will forever not make any sense. How in the hell you get that rich and still be about the streets? And then he wasn't even from the streets. Like, he was from, like, the hills. Like, he had a good life. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they wasn't rich, but they wasn't broke either. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> I think it just traumatized him once his father passed. And then his mama acting crazy on top of that. And, and he was like, you you messed up my life. You messed up my life. Like, he, she said the F word. But he was like, you messed up my whole life. And she was like, I'm not going to own that. I'm not going to own that. And she, she played so much. That boy just wanted to be loved. That's no excuse to go out and kill nobody, though. You know, it's no excuse to go out and kill nobody. But I'm telling y'all, I, I was like, oh, the big hype. I'm going to have all this video. And there really is just nothing else that I can say. Shit, I'm recording this video for my kids' room. I'm letting y'all know the truth. This is sad what happened. If you have boys, always make sure you talk to them, especially boys in sports, because my little baby, he play basketball, and I be like, you better not. The Lord bless you to have that kind of money, child, and we don't even live no bad life. You know, but what Aaron Hernandez was doing, I, um, I can't say it's what he chose to do because of the evidence of how all that stuff was going on in his brain. But I still just can't get it. I still just can't get it. I just know this was sad. Um, I didn't cry during it, but I did get some closure during it. Oh, well, I really want to know why she cremated him. I can't understand how she cremated and burned her own son. That I don't get. The only thing I can put into that is that the fact that he looked just like her, she resented him for wanting more, you know, the the issue was in, within herself, and she just blamed him for it. They was talking in a documentary about how, like, nobody ever stopped to tell him that he's loved. I'm like, I'll be damned, somebody did. Like, if we all want to feel like nobody told him that he was loved, but I'll be damned. So I guess it just is what it is. We don't know why he did it. And we can't really say he did it. Because it's all, you know, accusations. You know what I'm saying? In the mind of a killer. You know, Aaron Hernandez. We're trying to find out. But it was crazy. It took me like three days to watch it. Well, actually two. Because I watched one part. I part, watched part one and then a half. And then the second day I watched the second half. And then finished it off. It was crazy. Um, I have all these notes for what I can say. Oh, and Alexander Bradley. Alexander Bradley, when he had came out that he had lied on that text message and stuff, he was looking so stupid on the stand. He was looking so stupid on the stand. Like, oop, oop, I'm caught. Ugh, the, the video was, like, so deep, you guys. Like, uh, he had got shot in a grind. Like, he was arguing with some other people. And he had got shot in a grind. And then he went up in the club and just shot 11 shots. Didn't care who he killed. And was killing people, you know, and shooting people. Why he don't got shot in his stud. And was still walking away and walked off with a gun. With your stuff bleeding. Like, this whole thing. Lord have mercy. Pray the Lord. It's not my son. It's just that all I get out of this is you just tell your kids if you got an opportunity because ain't nobody blessed him like that except God. If you got an opportunity like this, don't act stupid. Like, I don't know. Common sense is you get rich or you act stupid. And he got rich and he just acted stupid. That's all I can say about it, y'all, because I got all these notes. But they really, at the end of the day, these notes don't matter. It is what it is. Nobody got no money. His mama was a complete ass to him. That boy wanted to be loved, and now he gone. Anyways, y'all, put in the comments what you think, because I don't have no words.
Adam.